Welcome back. So far we've talked about density and firmness in foams, but there's another way to measure how firm a material is, and it's called compression force deflection, or CFD. Now these two foams, they may look identical, but they behave a little bit differently. If they seem familiar, that's because we used them in our firmness versus density video. While their density and thicknesses are the same, their firmness varies significantly, affecting how they respond to pressure. What property helps us quantify this difference? And how do we actually measure firmness in foams? Let's put them to the test and find out. First, a quick note. You might think that you can measure foam firmness with the durometer, but that's not the right tool for the job. Durometers measure surface hardness in solids, not foams. Instead, we use CFD. CFD measures the amount of force needed to compress a foam to a specific percentage of its original height, usually 25%. This tells us how much pushback force a foam provides, which is crucial for applications like sealing and gasketing. Let's start with pour on 92 extra soft foam. Wow, see how easily this compresses? Extra soft foam has a low CFD, meaning it takes less force to compress. It's perfect for cushioning applications, enclosures that require low force, or anywhere where the foam needs to conform to irregular surfaces. Now, let's test pour on 60, which is much firmer. Check out that difference. This foam resists compression, which means it has a greater pushback force and a higher CFD. Foams like this are great for applications that need a durable, tough seal or extra structural support. In sealing applications, like EV battery enclosures, the right CFD ensures the foam compresses enough to create a tight seal without warping the enclosure. Too much or too little force, and you could end up with a serious problem. CFD helps you choose the right material for the job. Whether it's a soft foam for cushioning or a firm foam for structural support, understanding CFD is critical for an application's success. And as always, the Rogers and TBP teams are here to help. In our next video, we'll dive into stress relaxation and why it matters.